Oh, alright guys, how's it going? Awesome Soul here, and I am back in Robocraft with a very different video. So, today, I have been tinkering around with the Rhino Mask. Now, I was gonna slap it on a bot, as is, but then I got to thinking. There's multiple different parts that make up this mask, so why not use them in different ways? So, what I am here today to show you guys are nine unique variants that I came up with. And I've got them set up on little bases here. Some of them are more intricate than others, so I will be stepping you through how to do each and every single one of them. There's a pretty good variety here. Uh, hopefully there's something you will like, but let me get set up and I will show you the fat cat. All right, guys. So, we are going to be doing the Fat Cat Mask, as I said. And if you couldn't guess, it's because it looks like a cat. Kinda, sorta. Anyways. Well, I guess I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. So, those are going to be acting as the eyes, and the jaw pieces are going to be acting as the ears. So there you go, it kinda looks like a cat already. And then we got the, uh... The fat part, hence the, uh, these rather large whiskers. So, come along to this side here, and place them like so. So, rather large whiskers, hence the, uh, the fat part, as I said before. So, I'll give a little fly around, but it's kind of like little mini whiskers here, a nice little nose, good ears, and then these giant excess whiskers. So, this is the first of many masks I will be showing off. So, let me just get prepared for the next one, and I go right back. Okay, so next up we have the Cthulhu mask. So bring this part over here, just like so, angle it like that, take your other piece, rotate it around, like so. Next up, we'll be using the jaw pieces as horns, as opposed to ears from the last one. Place it on like so, and then finally, you're going to be doing the, the tentacles, I guess you could say. Take your uh, headpiece, like so, and take your other one, and place it just like that. And there you have it. There is the Cthulhu mask. We'll do a little fly around here so you guys can see it from all angles. Some of these are a bit more hard to mount onto your bot, but certainly not impossible. So, next up we have the Mandible Beetle Mask. This is a more insectoid design. So we could to be using these jaw pieces here as the eyes. Next up we are going to be using the ear pieces, just for a little extra pizzazz, I guess you could say, at the back here. Because I did try to use all of the mask parts in every single one of these uh, offshoot masks. Then come around here with the face piece and add it just like so. And there you have it. So there is the rather large menacing uh, mandible on this beetle. Rather angry looking face, or eyes I guess you could say. So, we'll get the fly around as per usual. We got the rather large spikes sticking out the back. It might be somewhat difficult to mount, but not impossible. The next mask I will be recreating for you is called the Thorny Ant. Another insectoid design. To start out, we're using these for the eyes and the mandibles, although much smaller mandibles than the last one. 
moving on, we will bring these up like so. Creates a rather cool design in the middle, like a, a V kind of shape. And then simply moving this up like so. And there you have it. There's the Thorny Ant. One of my personal favorites. It's a little flyby. Fairly simple to attach to a bot. And uh, keep sticking around, there's plenty more masks where this one came from. Next up is a more humanoid mask, what I like to call the Watcher. So we're going to be using these pieces, like so, and this is going to be acting as the face. Just like that. Next, we'll be taking these and placing them up there on these two blocks. And finally, taking these in order to fill in the gap, like so. There you have the Watcher Mask. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Alright, so, on to the next mask. Okay, so, the next mask I have is a bit of a weird one. It's called Crazy Eyes. And I think you'll see why in a bit. Uh, it's kind of different. It's very almost goat-like, I want to say. And it has to use this sort of weird triforcing arm, so just keep that in mind when you're building. Don't forget that. It's very important. Full blocks don't work with the frame, unfortunately. See, there you go. There's crazy eyes. Uh, the horns kind of resemble a goat. I don't know. That's just how I see it. What do you guys think of this thing? So we'll do the flyby. There's the framework for it. Onwards to the next mask. Okay, so here is probably the most outlandish mask I have so far for you guys. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to call this other than the alien elephant. So this is going to be the face and bring these jaw pieces back here. These are the ears of the elephant. So, and then bring these pieces up like there, just to fill in the space and make it look a bit nicer. See, there you have it. There. See, it does kind of look like an elephant from the front. However, it's got two trunks. Or you could also look at it as this being the mouth, and it's like a weird beak, almost. Um. Yeah, very different. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy this one or not, but I figured I'd throw it in there just because. But without further ado, we will be getting on to the next mask. Okay, so next up, we have the alien headdress. So this is slightly more complicated than some of the other ones. So just make sure you pay attention to the frame. fly around here. So that's the frame you want in order to mount these pieces. So take your eyes, just like so. Now grab these pieces. I guess these sort of act as a mandible, but it's up to you whether you want it to be a mandible or a piece of the armor. <laughs> up to you guys. And then we're going to be adding the headdress part to it. Just like so. And there you have it. Another one of my favorites. What do you guys think of this one? Uh, yeah, I'll do another fly around, because why not? Just to make sure that I haven't lost anyone. Okay, now we have one last mask, and this one is just 
Oh, you'll you'll see. Just just you wait. Okay, here we go. All right, you've waited patiently. Unless you've jumped forward to this part in particular, then hello. But so this is the most complicated of all the masks. So make sure you follow along. I'll do a flyby of the frame. Now, make sure you have these pieces all like so. If you got the angled pieces correct, make sure you're using the, the right block for the right job. Anyways, so this is the maw. And you will see why in a second. First off, this is going to be acting as the face. And then we have these small horn-like appendages coming up the top. And I probably can guess what you guys are thinking. Sorry. Oops. There. Oops. There we go, that's better. Is that not the most badass mask you have ever seen in the history of Robocraft? Like seriously, is this not the greatest thing you've ever seen, ever? Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, guys, oh my god. Yeah, this is by far my favorite mask. Hopefully it's your favorite mask too. But uh, if it's not, let me know down below which one of these nine masks was your favorite. Maybe do a ranking? I don't know, top three? <laughs> Anyways guys, I've been the Awesome Soul. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you next time. Take care.